dude. How you doing, buddy? Well, this is uh. Woods runner here, and me and the dude. Right We're headed out for uh, our Tuesday ruck. So we're going to take the LK35, and it might be quite a bit of snow up on that. That's where we're headed up there. So, yeah, there's just snow up there. So, we're going to take some snowshoes. I not need them. Hope I don't. Well, it's a beautiful day, and uh, Tuesday, Tuesday's a hike day, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday are hike days, and uh, at least while I'm not working, <laughs> I don't work enough. Some wolf tracks here. There's a couple of them. There's one here. And these are pretty fresh. Sometime last night. Another one here. Let's see these tracks. Let me see if we can. Well, that's gonna pick it up. But you can see an X pattern here. That's typical dogs. Wolves, foxes, coyotes, they'll have that X pattern right there. There you can see that X pattern here real clear. That wolf track there. A decent sized wolf. What do you think, dude? <laughs> yeah, you just stay with Dave. Alright. Done, dude. Got these guys right in the sun here. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Here we are. We're making our way up this Antelope Butte here. You've been up here before many times with me now, I think. Yeah. All those peaks over there. I've had lunch on. Just about every one of those peaks over there. And uh, this year we're gonna get up on some we haven't been on yet. Hey, dude, don't you take off, buddy. You stay close to Dave. If you're running into them wolves, that wouldn't be a good thing for you. Okay, onward. And you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Up. Let's see here. Whew, yeah. And you can see where the wolf is tracking these elk. There's several wolves and uh, a few elk here. Some more elk tracks. 
Oh, dang it. Right here. And, uh, and here, more oak tracks. And these wolves came down, and these elk were bedded down, down around here. Yeah, looks like the elk kind of scattered and took off in di different directions, as did the wolves. So then, you see their trail there. That's a wolf coming right down that track right there. Right now, he's making a straight line, making a beeline for them where the milk were bedded down this morning. And this is the track. We think ding. <laughs> yeah. So this one came right down here and some others came up from the bottom and some came up from the trees right over here. And they headed this way. The elk were all right down in here. I don't see any blood, so I don't know that they caught one. Not right around here they didn't. And here you can see some elk beds here. Elk bed here. Right there. Another elk bed. Another bed. Anywhere, anyway. A whole bunch of elk beds right in here where they spent the night. had to get up in a hurry when those wolves showed up. Okay guys, I'll see you later. This sucker here. You can see where the wind is blowing. This west face here, <coughs> between between the sun and the wind, it's got rid of the snow here. Gallatin. That's the Gallatin range over there. That's a trail creek down in there. A couple of ranch houses down in there. Okay, I'm just catching my breath here. I I'd give you guys a look around. I haven't seen any wolves. <laughs> I kind of hope I do. I catch some for you guys on video. Anyway, getting a little breezy. I want to get up on this thing and get off it. Well, we're almost to the top there, dude. There it is. That tree is. The wind's coming up a little bit. Got a bit of a breeze. 
Might be messing with my sound here. Try to hold this still. I can protect the speaker from the wind there. Maybe you look around. Sorry about that. Immigrant peak. Way off in there. That's Immigrant Peak back there. Ray J wants to get up. Immigrant Peak. Close. Hoping we can get him up here this summer. But he's got to ch stop chasing girls around. I'm kind of cold up here. It's kind of hard to talk with you. With your face frozen. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to get out of this wind. I'm going to shut you off for a while. You can see here why the uh, why the wolves come up here. All these elk tracks. Bench here. I just dropped down on the top here. Getting down onto a bench. I'm going to drop down onto that bench over there. See if I can get out of the wind and maybe boil up some coffee. And uh, so yeah. <laughs> Some deep snow, but I can walk on top of it for the most part. Not so much the elk. Makes it really hard on the elk, and it makes it easy on the wolves because they can generally walk on top as well. Run down these elk in this uh, deeper, crusty snow. Anyway, get down to that bench and uh, see if we can get some coffee. Well, it looks like the dude. Found a good spot out of the wind down on this bench right next to this really cool tree. Dinga, you stay right there, bud. Stay, sit. Sit. Atta boy. Good job. Anyway, looks like a good spot to stop and build some coffee. It's Tuesday and I've got my canteen and canteen cup here in my LK35 pack. I never did need the snowshoes today. That's good. And anyway, we awesome spot right here. So you guys, let me see if I can set you down here. stuff. Anyway guys, come here dude. We're gonna build a fire, make some coffee. I'm not gonna bore you with all that. But uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Scout for Life. Scout for Life, his channel, awesome channel. 
He's down there in those tropical islands down there where we can all be jealous. Uh, we're all freezing to death up here in Montana, Canada, <laughs> anywhere north. And uh, anyway, uh, so I just want to, you know, the guy's real, been real supportive of my channel. He's been supportive of a lot of other channels. And I'd like to give him a shout out. I've got other shout outs coming this week, but but Scout for Life. He's a good dude. He's got some great content and he's an he's an excellent cook. So uh, you gotta check out his channels. He's got some really awesome meals and some not so awesome meals, so you know. Anyway guys, I'm not gonna bore you with my Drinking a cup of coffee, but that's what we're going to do. It's just a beautiful spot, and we're just going to put our feet up for a bit. So you guys, you take her easy, but take her, okay? And all that means, you know, it has nothing, you know, for all you guys, people who think that's something sexual, it ain't, okay? It just means, uh, you know, life is all around you. God's creation is everywhere, you know, and, and he wants you to get out there and enjoy it and explore it and just become a part of it. So that's all that means. So so guys, take her easy. Don't get yourselves hurt, but take her. All right, guys. This is Woods. Ow. Get in trouble. Told you not to let me fall asleep, didn't you? Now I fell asleep. Boy, it's gonna be mad. Dang it. Uh, that sun's getting low on the horizon. We're gonna be in trouble. Dag nabbit. I told you not to let me fall asleep, Dang. What did I say? I said, don't let me fall asleep. That's all I had to do was keep me awake. I didn't have to do anything else, you just had to keep me awake. Really? Good hike. I think we ought to go home. Whew. Yeah.